Hey, how's it going? This is uh, the Superior Vintage Iron Channel. Um, Nick, Mia, or Nick and Mikey. Um, today we're going to be doing an install on my KTM 790. Um, we're going to be doing a new steering dampener. Um, it's made by XRC. They're out of New Zealand. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of videos or heard about this company from a lot of uh, internet reviews, but there's a pretty good professional KTM rider named Chris Birch that swears by this setup. And I thought that it'd be great to do a YouTube video to help people um, make a determination if this is something they'd want to put on their bike. Um, I think it's a great product. I really like it because it doesn't raise the handlebar height. Uh, all the other aftermarket steering dampeners raise the handlebar height. Um, what I also really like about this is it comes with uh, vibration dampened handlebar mounts um, kind of like all the other kits are having but the way they do it and the way they machine it is just fantastic so we're going to just kind of do a quick walkthrough and hopefully get this installed and see what everybody thinks and you know we won't uh, I won't have any honest feedback until I test it but um, so far the fit and finish of how it works and how it looks and is pretty much uh, what I was expect uh, from a high quality product so these are the tools you're going to need um some torx bits to take off the factory handlebars and um clamps um some allen heads Let's see we have a eight millimeter six millimeter and a four millimeter that we'll be using to install the new components um yeah, so let's get to it. The first step um, in putting the new steering dampener on is you gotta take the handlebars off. So we're gonna use a T40, and we're gonna take all of these bolts out and take the top clamps off. So now that we have the lower handlebar mounts off, you guys can see there's three mounting positions for your handlebars. Um, we've basically finished the disassembly of what we need to take off so the next step would be to mount the uh, anchor piece for the steering dampener and so if you come in here there's a usually a little cap on this but this is where you're going to tie in the anchor piece and this is what the anchor piece looks like so we'll be installing that next so once you get the ta uh, the anchor installed um, we put that in with a little bit of blue thread locking uh, compound and that was a six millimeter allen we used on that uh, socket or six millimeter um, allen wrench uh, we're gonna next we're gonna install the lower handlebar mounts so these are designed in a way where they're offset um, they are marked left hand and right hand side but I do believe you could switch them around to get the right offset, uh, depending on where you want your handlebars to land. So I'm actually gonna install them in the furthest back position, closest to me, with the offset facing forward. Um, that should, in my opinion, give me the closest po position that I like as far as the stock handlebar positioning. So we're gonna install that next with a little bit of blue thread locking compound. So now that the handlebar, uh, lower handlebar clamps are installed, uh, we slid in the uh, threaded adapters into the lower portions uh, for the handlebar cups. We're going to loosely bolt the handlebars on and um, get that sent, uh, just get it in there loose. And we're not going to tighten anything down yet because we have to still install the damper portion. But this, the damper portion actually attaches to the uh, upper handlebar clamps. As you can see, these two little threaded bosses here. So that's why we're just gonna put the handlebars in but we're not gonna tighten everything down yet. So that's our next step. So now that we got the handlebars loosely installed in there, um, you can see the neoprene isolation they, they use in here, which I'm looking forward to trying and experimenting with. So now that we have the handlebars installed and the anchor installed, we're gonna install this little adapter piece on top of the anchor and basically it just offsets 
the pivot on the pivot pin where the steering dampener will uh, lock into. So that's what we're going to install next. So now we've installed the offset um, adapter piece on the anchor. Um, the pin that will lock into the steering damper, I've left loose just so we can adjust it if need be. And once we get the adjustment right, we'll tighten the jam nut. So last, we're going to install the actual dampener itself. Um, it keys into the upper triple or the upper handlebar mount clamps. So we're just going to have to probably remove these two bolts at the back just so we can actually install the piece in there and then retighten everything. So we've gotten the final product um, installed. Um, we did have to make a change. Uh, I had the nut on top of the little anchor stud and after experimenting with it, we found that it was best that the nut was on the bottom and that you screwed the um, pivot stud all the way in and put the nut on the bottom. Um, there wasn't any instructions that came with this. There was a gener generic set of instructions. So um, this is why I really wanted to make this video to help, hopefully help people make a decision if they want this uh, set up that it, it is very easy to install. Um, and hopefully the video will help somebody make uh, an informed decision on their next steering damper purchase. So last but not least, um, this doesn't work in conjunction with your factory steering dampener that's located on the lower triple tree. So your last step will be to remove this, um, the factory steering dampener because it will, it will not go well together. And that's it. That's the install. I will have another video hopefully soon about testing this and seeing how well it does off road. Um, I, I feel that this is a nice, very simple setup. It's only one knob. It's easy to get to with your gloves on as opposed to the uh, other steering dampers out there, Scott's. So, um, I like more simplicity. I don't really need a lot of stuff to be messing with. So, um, for me as an off-road based rider, this is what I would choose over a lot of other steering dampers, just, just based off the simplicity factor. So look for the next video. We'll have an update on how it rides and how it performs. So uh, stay tuned.